Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are preparing coconut chinchin. I hope you enjoyed the video. So first of all, we have to grate our coconuts. Right here, I'm like using half of just one full coconut, so half. Um, that I will not be using everything, but don't worry, you will see the point of coconut I used. So I'm using this particular, um, let's say the mouth, yeah, the small, second to the smallest. And here I have 8 cups of flour. So this is the quantity of coconut I'll be using. And I'll be adding it into this flour very soon. Very soon. So I have to mix this coconut with the flour so that everything can just go well. Yeah. So yeah, I have my nutmeg, two teaspoons of nutmeg, baking powder, my sugar, my milk, my butter. So the details of this whole thing will be in the description box. Just go in there and get the whole recipe. So I have to mix in the butter very well into the flour so I get that crumby um, texture you can actually skip the use of spatula and just wash your hands and use your hands to massage the butter into the flour to get that crumby texture in here is my egg i'll mix my egg before putting it into the dry ingredients mix it very well yeah like this you have to be speed to mix this egg so i'll create a well in my dry ingredients and put in my egg before I start mixing and when putting egg into dry ingredients you have to be very careful and watch out for egg shells so you see when you get to the bottom don't add everything so right now just mixing my egg into the dry ingredients before I add in my water so this is room temperature water go in bit by bit I get the right consistency, the right uh, dough for my chicken. So when adding your water, don't add plenty water. Just little by little. So the amount of water I use will be in the description box. Just check there. And uh, I have another video for chicken. I will put the link down for you to just view it. So I'm adding another uh, amount of water. So using the spatula is not um, it's not a compulsory thing. You can just use your hands and just mix from the very beginning. Because right here, using the spatula is kind of hectic for my daughter. Yeah, she's the one behind this wonderful work. She has this zeal to just want to participate in everything I am doing. So she's the one doing this um, chin chin do right now. Um, what I'm doing just to supervise what she's doing. So she was even complaining, Mommy, I don't want to use this part like I want to use my hand. I want to use my hand. I was like, you have the messy. Don't worry, just use this part like as in got to this point she was like, Mommy, I don't want to use this part like I want to use my hand. I said, okay no problem. No problem. Go ahead and use your hand. And so that's how we got the dough together and put it on a work surface. And now we are needing this is another exercise for those that want to reduce their uh, mother, what they call this, mother son, they'll be something with their hand. So this exercise is actually good. You just have to do some hand work here. You need, you need, you need until it's firm, until it's very okay and finally able to roll and cut. So kneading can take up to five minutes, yeah. So I don't know what my daughter is doing here. She thought maybe we are doing some kung fu stuff like <laughs> But anyway, I like the way she just takes everything with her. Um, she doesn't take like the work serious. She wants to include play 
and also work. With that, she's enjoying herself while doing this studios of work. Many people will not like to do this leading part because it will actually pain their hands. So what I'm doing here is that when I need and my dough is soft, I give her part of the dough. Maybe her own is strong and she needs with it to just make it soft easily. She gives me hers, I'll take it, I will need. So with that, our dough will be on the same level of texture. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So like that, I mix them up so that they'll be on the same level, yeah. So it's time to roll and we are gonna roll not too thick, not too thin, just on a medium level, yeah. And don't forget to floor your table so that your dough won't stick to the table and your rolling pin don't forget to put floor on it in order for you to have a smooth ride when rolling your dough on your surface which is your work surface yes i mean and this is how i trim horizontal and vertical so these are hot oil just a little bit hot before we can start adding our chin to it and let your heat not be too high just on the medium level in order for your chin chin not to get burnt on time while it's not ready so let it be on the medium level not too low not too high then you fry it batch by batch batch by batch So when done putting your chin chin to the oil, don't forget to scatter it. Yeah, because some of them are sticking together. In fact, well, most of them are sticking together. So scatter it, shake it in the pan so that everything can look beautiful as a single, single chin chin. You get it? But I really don't understand why chin chin do foam when frying. Oh, it's well. But if you know why, please just let me know in the comment section, right? Yeah. So this is our chin chin and it's pretty, pretty looking good. Our coconut chin chin is ready. I hope you try this and leave me a comment 